Hi everyone, welcome to another how-to video. Today we are going to learn how to get a lead out of this sharpener. Let's say we've got a pencil, we're sharpening, and the lead gets stuck in the sharpener. Firstly, how do you know the lead is stuck? Well, you twist the handle and you hear the um, it suddenly just stops um, working. It stops making this noise that it's making now, which means it's sharpening, and it just goes round and round and round without catching anything. Let's keep going. And here, look, there's no noise. Okay, so there's a lead stuck. We take out our pencil, and uh, what we need to do is to open up the sharpener to remove the lead. Now, the first thing I do is we have on the front the little drawer for collecting the pieces. I take that out first and move it away. You don't need to remove it, but if you don't and it falls out, you get a mess all over the desk. And then we need to remove this piece here. We turn it anti-clockwise and it is quite difficult to do. Okay, you can hear the effort that I'm putting into doing it. But eventually it does loosen and come off. You see, when you're, it turns like this, when you've got a pencil in there, you know that um, there's a lead stuck. Right, so we've loosened it and we put it out like this. Now you can try just tipping it upside down and the lead might come out of this hole. But I'm going to try and show you where the lead normally appears in the sharpener so that you can see in there in that gap there that is where the lead appear gets stuck and you can just poke it with your um, pencil and uh, and it will just fall out but as I say you can tip it like that onto your hand and try and get it out that way or you can poke it so if you look carefully you've got this sort of mechanism a gap and then you've got that little pointy bit gets stuck in there so I use a mechanical pencil or just a um, Norris pencil to push it out and then you need to put it all back together again now you can see I've already got some debris on the desk you need to try and do it in a place where um, it doesn't matter if you make a mess you can clean it up so look and some more so we've got our hole and we've got our piece so we pop it in and we have actually on here to a line a sticky outy bit there and a sticky outy bit there and on the hole you've got these two dents and you need to line them up so push it and then it will just go in nicely and you can turn it clockwise and it's all um, together to so pop your tray back in and then you'll be able to sharpen your pencil this one is very sharp so it may not um may not sharpen it but you can hear that it's working again okay so that's how we do it now the other little tip is uh for people who are sort of new to using don't try and pull the pencil out without pressing in this button on the side to press in the button and pull the pencil out what that does is if you look in here you've got some claws it's quite hard to see when it's open hold on let's just sharpen and let's just close it so you can see here there are these claws when you press the button they disappear and they're what grabs onto the pencil so if you try and force the pencil in or out when those are shut it doesn't it, it can damage the pencil so you push it in and then you push your pencil in and to sharpen you just put it out a little bit and then you can't get it back in without turning the handle i don't know why but there we go so that's sort of the basics of the sharpener it does explain how to use it in the manual in the book you get but removing the legs can be a little bit tricky so i hope that helped you i'm sorry i didn't actually have a lead in there to show you but i'm sure you get the gist of it and i hope that helps so thank you so much for uh, for watching the video and happy coloring